new here at four. For some, avoiding gluten isn't a choice. Severe gluten intolerance, known as celiac disease, is actually on the rise in our country. More children are being diagnosed with it. So joining us now with more is Dr. Chad Thornhill with GI for Kids at Children's Hospital. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. All right, here we go. Most of us have heard of gluten. Let's talk about exactly what it is. So gluten's a protein. Mm -hmm. It's a protein in wheat. It's not the only protein, but especially as far as celiac is concerned, it's the most important protein because it's the immune system reacting to the gluten that causes the irritation to the GI tract, which leads to all the problems that happen it's with celiac disease. It's a terrible cycle. domino yeah. effect. And I can tell you've explained that to a lot of parents. So many times. <laughs> so many. Let's talk, though, on a serious note about the signs and symptoms. This is not fun. Well, so you get irritation to your small intestine, mm -hmm. and it's all the things that happen with it. Obviously, pain, especially with the younger kids, they can't really tell you they're hurting, so it's more like fussy, irritable kid. Yeah. But now small intestine intestine needs to be absorbing the nutrition and it can't. So you're, you're getting diarrhea, kids aren't growing very well, they're not putting on weight very well, so things that kind of stem from that. It's got to be so frustrating for parents not knowing what on earth it is and they've probably been going through it for a while by the time oh, they yeah, get absolutely. to you. Yeah. Uh, do we know what causes celiac disease? There's lots of theories. Um, some of them are good, some of them they're still trying to work through. Yeah. There's definitely a genetic component to it because there's some genes that are associated with celiac, but even having the genes doesn't mean that you will get celiac. So um, they're still working through a lot of that, still a lot of unknowns. Treatment. Um, super easy, super hard, avoid gluten. And it's really easy for me to say, it's really hard for the families to implement. It's, it's in not so just, many things. Yeah, and it's not just cutting out the gluten in the food. You've got yeah. to make sure the toaster doesn't have gluten. You know, you need to make sure your cooking utensils haven't been exposed to gluten. So it's it's more than just, okay, well, we're going to pick out the gluten-free foods now. And going out to eat, hi, do you have cross-contamination? Can anybody really answer that specifically? Yeah, because even if it's like the gluten-free pizza, they need to make sure that they're doing it on the gluten-free board and doing it in the gluten-free oven. It needs to be more than just this is the gluten-free dough. So that leads to this question. Um, you're doing all this for your child, obviously, Absolutely. so they'll feel okay and they'll be healthy. Is this something the whole family can embrace? You hear different things about gluten. Yeah, absolutely. Um, gluten, yeah, definitely not an essential part of the diet. Um, a lot of it is dependent on how you cut out the gluten. Very helpful for the child if the entire family cuts out gluten. Yeah. Because, you know, if, if you're the one that's doing it, but everybody else is having their, you know, their hamburgers and their pizzas, it's really hard to be the one kid. So it's really easy if the entire family is doing it. Um, it depends on how you do the gluten-free because if you're doing the, you know, the lean meats and the fruits and the vegetables mm -hmm. and getting good wholesome sources, it's great. Mm -hmm. If you're replacing just the gluten foods with the gluten-free foods, the problem with that is that things like, you know, the breads have mm -hmm. been enriched. So there's vitamins and minerals and things that they've put in there to help supplement people's diets. Some of the gluten-free foods don't have that. So if, if you're going more of that route and not the more kind of whole food natural route, mm -hmm. um, you have to be really careful to make sure you're supplementing in places. Empty calories. That's right. Yeah. All right. We always learn something from you. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. We appreciate it. And if you have a question about your child's health you would like for us to answer, just send me an email at ltucker at wate.com and then tune in to Channel 6 every Thursday right here at 4 to see if we use your question on the air.